Okay everyone, this is my game room tour. Uh, I actually did one, I would say, a month ago. Well, no, not a month ago. I would say about two weeks ago. And I tried uploading it to YouTube, and for whatever reason on my laptop it just took forever. So I grabbed a uh, USB, uh, US, one of those USB, uh, can't think of the word off the top of my head, but one of those USB flash drives and went onto my desktop and uploaded it, which is which was fine, it worked, took a little bit, but it worked. But then I realized that the lighting quality was so horrific that I'm going to end up taking that video down and this is the replacement video. So this is a replacement, if you've already seen the first game room tour, this is pretty much the same thing. Added a couple of items since I haven't uploaded the other videos yet, but you're going to see some stuff uh, you've already seen, and for those of you who haven't seen it, well then this is the better version of it. So we're going to open up right in here. I'm going to do a quick panoramic view of everything. Uh, so you got this table right over here, all the stuff along the wall, right up there, some stuff. Boom. Almost dropped a bottle of wine there. Sports memorabilia along the walls and then the library. So let's get over to the table here. And this is a laptop. When I play my uh, baseball game, like MLB The Show, uh, I use this to update the, the each roster, make sure the rosters are all set, uh, so I make it as, as realistic as possible during the regular season. Um, and then you got some miscellaneous stuff here. You got a uh, camcorder box, Xbox 360 controller, you got Madden 14 or 15 for the PS4. I've been playing that, obviously. It's football season now. And just, you know, PS4 controller, or PS3 controller. <clears throat> And a bunch of stuff. All right, right over here. This is the game chair. This is where all the magic happens when I sit down and I play my games. Also, the laptop is used for any strategy guides I might need if I'm playing, like, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed or something like that. If I'm stuck, uh, I'll obviously use that for that. Uh, this is the game room eating chair. And what, what I mean by that is this is usually right over here. I'm going to move it. But if I'm sitting here and I'm playing my games, okay. There's my chair. I can just grab a sub, take a bite, continue gaming. Uh, so that's what that's used for. Now, right up here, we're going to get to what's on the desk. You got the PS4 console, uh, games that I've been playing, obviously. Madden 15, and we got MLB The Show. Almost done with that. It's the, it's the ALCS right now. My Red Sox are against the Royals. I'm up 2-0 in that. Uh, PS3 system. Controllers for the PS3, red and black, was right over there. PS4 is on the floor. Uh, this is Ultima Ruins of Virtue for the original Game Boy. This is my second copy. It's complete in box. This is just sitting there. I'm going to try to sell that. It's worth a decent amount. Xbox 360 controller there. This is the TV that I use. It's an Emerson HD. Does the job. Right up here, you got a Simpsons... For when it came out on the 360 and PS3, I have it for the 360. This is the Simpsons uh, GameStop. Uh, if you reserved it or whatever, you got this little Homer doll, so it's still in its wrappings. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS. This is the VMU for the Dreamcast. Still, it's not brand new. It's Even though it's in its original packaging, it's not. It's just in its original packaging. It's used. PS Vita, or this is a PSP box, I, I'm sorry. PSP box, you got the PlayStation 1, you got the Saturn, let me just move this out of the way. Here's the Saturn, and all my boxes are complete with the systems and controllers and everything. I just high, really don't play a lot of these right now. I've been playing the PS3 and PS4, um, and then when Assassin's Creed Rogue comes out for the 360, I'm going to pick that up, you'll see why. Why don't you get it for the PS3? You'll see why in a moment. Um, so I'm going to have to unearth the, P the 360 again, but then we have Dreamcast, the two boxes there, Nintendo 64, uh, and then the Genesis, this is the original Genesis with Altered Beast, okay, the box and everything, 360 right over here, PS2 box right over there, the original Xbox, PS4, and PS3, and then miscellaneous boxes as well. Now in the desk, ah... Uh, Sorry about that. I just need myself somehow in the groin. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I sat down. This is what happened, folks. And for those of you guys out there that are watching this, you're going to feel my pain in a minute. I sat down on the chair, 
and this is what my ball sack just hit. Boom! Right on there. That that was pleasant as hell. Oh, that hurt. So anyway, right in here you got the uh, Game Informers. You can see there's nothing really on the bottom there, but there's Game Informer magazines that are stacked up. Here I got a lot of miscellaneous stuff, and I have some duplicate stuff that I'm going to be selling on eBay. Uh, some duplicate Genesis games, um, Game Boy games, PS2, Xbox, that sort of thing. Down here you got the PS Vita, which is right there, the white system. And then you got a whole bunch of miscellaneous memory cards and things like that. Over here you got more Game Informers. Now in this bin, okay, you can't see, but towards the bottom of the bin, you got Game Informers from like 1997 when they were reviewing N64 games and, and PlayStation and all that sort of thing. So that was a pretty that's pretty cool. I'd have to actually dig in there. Maybe I'll do a video on that another time. Right down here you got more uh, complete in box Game Boy games, uh, DS. Game Boy Advance, Loose Carts, DS Loose Carts, uh, Game Boy Original Black and White Loose Carts. So that's this drawer down here. You got the PSP system. I don't know if you guys can see. It's right there. And the wires and everything else. Now, this is where my some of my games are. I, what I did is I took all the normal games that I have and I put them in one spot. I then took the series games that I have and put them along this wall. So first we'll go to the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood poster that I got when I bought Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Okay, it's a GameStop exclusive, and all the, I assume, the people that are in this game are signed the, signed the poster. So you got Itzio up there, and you got a whole bunch of other people. Then over here you got Assassin's Creed stuff. And what I mean by stuff is, you have the GameStop Power Rewards uh, ring. This is the encyclopedia. This over here that I'm going to pull out, this is the first version. And then you have, if I push this back in, Oh, this is going to be impossible. This is version 2, okay, which added Assassin's Creed 3 into it. Um, then you have the um, copy, like the uh, uh, graphic novel type stuff. You have Oliver Bowden's novels themselves, every single one. I've read through them, they're good. Uh, good backstories in them. And then, the reason I don't have Assassin's Creed Rogue for the PS3 is because on the last gen, I had a, pretty much every major Assassin's Creed game on the 360. So you have the first Assassin's Creed, then you got Assassin's Creed Altair's Chronicles for the DS, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines for the PSP, then this is Assassin's Creed's Lineage, which takes place before Assassin's Creed 2. This is sealed. Then you got Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 2 for the DS Discovery, which is right there, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed uh, Steel Bookcase, right over here, Steel Case, if you can see my finger. Then you got Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation for the PS Vita, the one that came with the Vita, that's when I got my system. And then Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Okay, so that's Assassin's Creed series. After that, we move right to Dead or Alive. So you see the first Dead or Alive for the PS1, DOA 2 Hardcore for the PS2, DOA 3 for the Xbox, DOA 4 for the 360, then the movie DOA, then Dead or Alive Dimensions for the 3DS, and then right in there, you can't really see because God of War is covering it, but there's Dead or Alive 5. Let's see if I do it this way, this might be better. And then you got God of War series. So you got the God of War uh, Wolfman uh, graphic novel, God of War actual novel, was written by Matthew Stover and Robert E. Vardaman. Okay. God of War for the PS2, God of War for the PSP, this is Ghosts of Sparta. Okay, right over here. God of War 2 for the PS2, God of War... Oh, no, that wasn't Ghost of Sparta. That was Chains of Olympus. This is Ghost of Sparta. And then God of War 3 for the PS3. And then God of War Ascension Collector's Edition for the PS3. After that, we go to Mortal Kombat. Now, this is one of the action figures that came in the Mortal, latest Mortal Kombat uh, Collector's Edition. This is Scorpion, and he's spearing through all of these games and movies and everything Mortal Kombat. So first, we'll start with Mortal Kombat, the Annihilation video. Mortal Kombat 1 for the original Game Boy, Genesis. This is the novel by Jeff Rovin, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat the movie, then Mortal Kombat 2 for the, for the Game Boy, Genesis, Saturn, Annihilation, which is the second movie, Mortal Kombat 3 for the original Game Boy, 3 for the Genesis, 3 for the PlayStation 
Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for the Saturn, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Now this is the greatest hits version. I have a black label on the way to replace it. Uh, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, Mortal Kombat 4 for the Game Boy Color, Mortal Kombat 4 for the PS, uh, PS1, Mortal Kombat Gold for the Dreamcast, and so on and so on and so forth. Okay, all the way down until we finally have the Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition and then Sub-Zero's right there getting impaled through all the games. Now, I have every single Mortal Kombat game in order of its release in the timeline. So even though Mortal Kombat 4 for the Game Boy Color, that was released the same time Mortal Kombat 4 was on the PS1, but Mortal Kombat Gold, while well, that was released after Mortal Kombat 4, and then Mortal Kombat Special Forces was released after Mortal Kombat 4 for the PS1. So I have every game in its correct chronological timeline. Then we go to the Prince of Persia series. This is an actual novel, Prince of Persia. We have Prince of Persia 3D for the PC. Now this is technically the fourth game in the series. I don't know why I have it the way I do, but I do. Uh, then you got Prince of Persia for the Dreamcast, Prince of Persia Arabian Nights. Okay, all the way through the DS games. I even have Battles of Prince of Persia right there and so on and so forth. Prince of Persia graphic novel before the sandstorm. And then Tekken series, I have to get a long box version of that. So you've got to replace the greatest hits version, but then you got Tekken. Even have Death by Degrees for the PS2, which is a standalone for with Nina Williams. All the way to the second Tekken movie that came out. Then we have Grand Theft Auto, Game Boy Color, uh, small Game Boy Color collection. Let me move Tetris back. Uh, then we have Game Boy Advance, which is this. Then we have DS, small DS collection, as you can see, and so forth. PSP, I only really have a small collection. I got Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts, and then Napoleon Dynamite. I don't really have a lot of PSP games. I only really bought the PSP for Birth by Sleep. So, oh, and then Prince of Persia and God of War and all that sort of thing. Okay, right over here we got a little uh, small version of PC games, a little shelf of them. Most of these I got, with the exception of the antivirus software and TurboTax, most of these I got, uh, with the exception of High Heat Baseball as well, and Chessmaster, but Crazy Machines, Baseball Mogul, uh, NFL Head Coach, Rise, Shady O'Grady's Rising Star, Test Drive Le Mans, those games I got while working for Game Shark. Okay, Game Shark was a, you know, this Game Genie type uh, peripheral for the, for the consoles, well they had a website, and I did reviews for the website, and previews, until the website shut down. But, so this is why I got all these games for free, and most of them were PC games. Here you have the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag poster, which is right up here. And then right over here I'm going to do a little, this is my Game Boy stuff. This is all the original Game Boy games I had as a kid, with the exception of three, which I'll show you. I have Greatest Hits versions of, I have to get the, or Player's Choice I should say, versions. I have to get the regular versions. I didn't realize they were Player's Choice, but I'll just quickly go around... And obviously we'll do a, a collection video of this. You have the original Game Boy, Game Genie, cleaning kit, and then the shelf down here with the rest of them. Quickly do a uh, quick view of each one. So that's the end of that. Oh, these are the ones that are down here. I need to get regular versions, Wave Race. I need to get Street Fighter 2 and Tennis. I actually have. This I'm going to sell. This is sealed on top of it. It's sealed, but it's a player's choice version. And the box is in pretty bad shape, but it's still sealed. So anyway, that's that. Then we got the Genesis. So let's go to the Genesis. I'm still missing a few games in the Genesis collection, but I'll just go by. And you'll see that. Okay, and then this shelf down here. Missing, if you're still missing a few games like Streets of Rage 3 and the original Toe Jam and Earl. I can find the games, but I want everything complete in box, obviously. And then this last little version right here, this is a World Series Baseball, I ran out of room. Down here we got N64 games, okay, and I'm missing a ton of N64 games. So, this is just a short collection, I'm still missing a bunch of what I used to have, and that's N64. Okay, now we go to the wall of, of stuff. And if you've seen my recent pickup videos, my collection videos, you're going to see a lot of this. There's Top Gun for the, by Konami, sealed in its case. Or no, it's not sealed. 
but it's still in its original case. Uh, VirtuCop 2 for the Saturn, this is in its box with the gun. You got uh, Raceway, which is still running. I gotta figure out how to turn that off so I can serve battery. This is Turbo Raceway. This is a sealed buzz for the PS2 with all the controllers. Uh, more handheld games, Tiger Electronic handheld games. Quickly go around and you'll see what we got here. Just quickly, and I'm still get, I've still got a bunch on the way, so there's more where that came from. This is a sealed pinball from Tiger, a sealed smaller wrestling from Tiger, and a sealed Mad 95 from Tiger. But we still got a bunch of exciting uh, Tiger handhelds to come. And then we have the plug and play uh, EA Sports Mad 95 and HL 95 to a TV. And then here, let me just grab the chair. This is where the PS1 Saturn Dreamcast game starts. So here are all the Saturn games I have. I'm, I think officially done with Saturn. I think I'm missing House of the Dead. And I thought it was only in Japan, but it's not. House of the Dead is actually did get released in the US, and it's like $300 on eBay to get, to get a copy. 700 sealed. That's how rare it is. But I think that's the only one I'm missing. Um, so you see some Saturn games, and then I'll just move these out of the way. Here are the rest of the Saturn games that I have. Okay, then we have Longbox PS1, and then Longbox PS1 here, then I'm running out of room. And then here we go. I'm going to do a quick view like this, and rapid fire go along each title. Still missing a few games of my PS1 collection, but I'm almost there. Alright, that's that. Then we go down to the second shelf, second pile here. And then we are going down to the third section, which is right here, into the Dreamcast. Don't have a lot of Dreamcast games. I think my Dreamcast collection is all complete from what I had as a kid. And then we go into the original Xbox, and then PS2. Still missing some games, obviously, in my Xbox collection. But here's PS2, and I have to get see if I can get rid of some of these cl uh, Greatest Hits versions. I want all my versions to be the regular versions, like this Crash Wrath of Cortex. That's a Greatest Hits version. i got to see if I can get a regular one. So then we go to the second shelf, which is right over here. And more PS2. Okay. So there's all of that. And then we go down here. Like that Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. That's sealed, but it's a Greatest Hits version. So i got to figure that out. Xbox 360. <laughs> And PS3 into PS4, but right now the three games that I have for PS4 are the sports games. Uh, and then when Unity comes out, I'm obviously buying that for the PS4. So now that I had, see, last generation, I had PS3 and Xbox 360. So I had Xbox 360 first, and what I decided to do was use that for my Assassin's Creed games. Then I finally got a PS3. And so, since I had already started Assassin's Creed on the 360, I said, I'm going to just leave it that way. Now that I chose between Xbox One and PS4, I chose PS4, I'm going to have all my series on that. Unless something comes out exclusively for the 360, or exclusively for the Xbox One that I want to play, then I'll do that. So now, that's the game section, folks. Now we're just going to quickly go to the sports wall, right up here. And, huge Boston fan, obviously, I'm from there. But you got, you know, Ortiz, Game 2... Excuse me, Game 4, October 17, 2004, against the Yankees. The ch World Champion uh, photo. Okay, more World Championship stuff up there. Bruins, when they finally won the Cup. I went to the clinching game against the Flyers that year in the second round. Uh, Brewski, when he was with the Pats, still playing. This is my 2013 World Series ticket. Game 6, I saw them clinch at Fenway Park, which was freaking awesome. Uh... Then this is a Cowboy Bear game. Interesting note for Cowboy Bears. Uh, it was in Dallas at Cowboy Stadium, and there were a lot more Chicago Bear fans than there were Cowboy fans in Dallas. And I finally figured out why. It's not that I figured out why, I found out why. A lot of people that used to live in Illinois moved to Texas, and that's why there's such a huge bear following in Texas, is because a lot of those fans are from Illinois originally. This was a Monday night game, November 21st, 2011, against the Chiefs. It was one of the worst games I've ever seen. The Pats killed them, but it was just boring as all hell. And what was also not that uh, flattering 
was a lot of the fans were like fair weather fans. They weren't, it wasn't a normal Boston sporting event. I mean, a lot of people just got, went to see Patriots plays, the shopping network all around the stadium. They weren't there. It reminded me of Laker fans in the regular season. You know what I mean? It's just they're, they're, they're in the playoff. Laker fans in the playoffs. They're just there because everyone else is there. So they it's a place to go. It's a place to be seen. So I didn't really like that. Um, this is a game against 2007 uh, when the big three, Garnett, Pierce, and Allen, first were together against the Nuggets. And I remember this game. This game, uh, they, they destroyed. It was like 62-31 to 31 at the half or something ridiculous. They just destroyed them. Right up here is a Bulls-Pistons game, one of the worst games I've ever seen. This is... 2013, March 31st. Uh, obviously, I lived in Illinois for a while, so I went to see some of these games, and this game was boring. Chicago ended up winning by like three at the end of the game, uh, but it was a really, really, really boring game. These are old as dirt. These are 2004. This is a spring training game right here, March 9th against the Reds, and then this is August 11th against Tampa Bay. Okay, I don't remember who won either game. I think the Red Sox lost the spring training game. I don't remember this game here. There's Kevin Millar. And then this is the Bruins game that I talked about earlier against the Flyers in 2011, the semifinals, uh, when they swept the Flyers in TD Bank North Garden. So that's that. Uh, then right over here we got the DVD collection of all the games. Okay, we have... Of, of, of all the championships, I should say. Celtics 2007-2008, 04 World Series, both... National and Nesson versions, 07, both National and Nesson versions, and then 2013 when there was just a smaller National version, and then right over here, a Nesson Band of Bearded Brothers, right there, and then this is the DVDs of each uh, World Series game, 2004, 2007, and 2013. Berwyn Stanley Cup video, Celtics Return to the Rafters. Boston Globe Sports Stories. I haven't even seen that DVD yet, actually. And then the Patriots, Super Bowl Champions, and then Bruins, Stanley Cup. Zidane O'Chara, Story of the Killer Bees, when they won, him kissing the cup. And then right over here you got the books on everything. You got Sports Illustrated issues, uh, when the Red Sox won everything. Sorry about the drapes. So there you go, Terry Francona, World Series 2013. Right up here you got Papel Bomb, so good, so good, so good, when they won in 07. And then 2013 World Championship stuff. Super Bowls, these I bought at BJ's, they were 10 bucks each, 100 things every sports uh, team fan should know. So Bruins, Celtics, Patriots, and Red Sox, 100 things you should do or know before you die. And I haven't read those yet. This is the 2011 Stanley Cup Champion Bruins, so you know, I got that plaqued. Wally the Grey Monster from the 2013 World Series, 1999 All-Star Game book, the official program guide for the 99 All-Star Game at Fenway. Uh, and then we move over here, we got the Bruins 2011 Stanley Cup champion Towelette, or Towel. Then this is pretty cool here, Decade of Dominance, uh, going from 2002 all the way to 2011. Every Sports Illustrated cover of each championship team and which what they won. So Super Bowl uh, 36, Super Bowl 38, Red Sox championship of 04, Super Bowl 39, 07 World Championship, 08 World Championship for the Celtics, and then 2011 for the Bruins. So I'll just quickly go up here, show you each thing. And then down here, the patches. And then here. All right. Now, right over here, we got the Bruins playoff towel and the 2013 banner. Red Sox, Cardinals. Over here are books that I have duplicates of, and i got to get rid of them. I'm probably going to either donate them or try to sell them for like 50 cents each or something. We'll figure it out. But here's a library. Our, before we get to the library, hat collection. Uh, this one is a college baseball team. When I played Division Three college baseball, that's that hat. But then you got Celtics, uh, Red Sox, 07 World Series hat, 2011 Bruins hat, 2013 Red Sox hat. I don't know what happened to my 04 hat. I think I got ruined. 
But then right here you got the books, my collection. So right here, uh, Maze Runner, obviously you guys you know the movie has come out. The movie wasn't half bad compared to the book. Usually they're horrible. It wasn't bad. The series was... The Maze Runner, the first book in the series was awesome. The Scorched Trials, which was the second book, that was okay, and then it got awful until the ending, and the ending was just, just a sellout, in my opinion. Uh, you got Bone Chiller series. Um, I think I have every single one, all 22, by uh, Betsy Haynes. And the funny thing is, 1 through 10 was written by Betsy Haynes. Then it says created by Betsy Haynes, which she had ghostwriters write the others. So, see, created by, and then just regular Betsy Haynes. Nightmare Hall series by Diane Ho. Of all of those, we go to number 16, and then obviously down here we have the rest. Every Christopher Pike book ever. Huge fan of Christopher Pike, in chronological order, by the way, when they came out. Publication dates. And then right down here, we got more. Into the newer stuff. And then Spooksville, I'm still missing a bunch of those. This is the Percy Jackson series. Okay. Followed by the movies, followed by the survival guides, followed by every spinoff you can imagine. The Kane Chronicles, and then Heroes of Olympus series. And this is the last book that just came out, The Bloods of Olympus. Blood of Olympus. Harry Potter, six book set, plus the last one. And then down here, the movies, followed by uh, Sealed Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then Darren Sean's uh, prequel to the Cirque de Freak series, followed by the Cirque de Freak series and the movie, which, by the way, was terrible. Um, then you have the Darren Sean's Demonata series. I like that a lot. That was good. And then down here you got Shivers, which was like a poor man's goosebumps. It's by M.D. Spencer. And you have the whole collection here, followed by Goosebumps. All of them. Every single regular Goosebumps book you can think of, plus DVDs, plus movies, plus everything you can think of. Tales to give you Goosebumps. Everything you can think of is all there. All right. Movies and whatnot. Then we go to the Series 2000 books. I have every one of those. Followed by the Mostly Ghostly series. There's three of them there and then the rest here. Followed by the Nightmare Room. Followed by the Goosebumps Horrorland video game for the PS2. Plus the regular Goosebumps Horrorland books. And all the current stuff that he's writing now. Which finished with just recently released Goosebumps Most Wanted Special Edition Number 2. The 12 Screams of Christmas. And then some R.L. Stein standalones right there, along with right here. Uh, now we go to the uh, Graveyard School series. I'm missing one or two books in the series. And the one or two books that I'm missing, one of them is like so rare that it's like $800 on eBay for a 20 page book. Up here you got a mix, mix, mismatch of books, a mix match of books, mishmash if you will. You got a Dan Brown series right up here, every Dan Brown book plus DVD of the movies that he wrote. Then some stuff from college, John Saul, missing a, a bunch of his stuff, but uh, I have one upstairs I haven't done. This is a Left Behind series plus the Kirk Cameron made for DVD movies, then the books. And then the Kid series, I'm missing a few books on. I have to collect the, uh, collect the rest of the series, but down here you get the rest. So that's, folks, that's pretty much it. That's the game room slash sports memorabilia side slash, um, slash uh, library. Right over here, if I shut the door, you got the World Series 2013 World Series champions right on the thing. So... That's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully the lighting was a lot better on this. And uh, happy gaming. We'll see you next time with more awesome videos.